My name is David Pickering and I'm the operations manager for the Crown Plaza at Manchester Airport. My job entails um, liaising with all the, the HODs for all in, in their departments to make sure that their departments are running correctly, looking after costs, dealing in, on, in some circumstances in, in HR to make sure that all the staff within those departments are, are doing what they're doing and they're all happy within their roles. I was very fortunate with regards to my parents and the, and the expectations that they had of me in that they only ever wanted me to be happy in what I did. On the flip side of that, for me as a parent, my expectations for my children are that they, they similarly, they just do and follow whatever career path they, they feel necessary. And if it's hotel and catering for my kids, then so be it. My father uh, works for a pharmaceutical company, um, predominantly uh, on the delivery side. And my mum, she works as um, a debt collector for a large company. At school, I was probably one of the quiet kids. Um, and I was studying to, um, to be a biochemist as opposed to coming into the, the catering in industry. Um, I think while studying my A-levels, that was the point where I realised that maybe going down the academic route wasn't really for me. Um, I didn't particularly struggle. I wasn't particularly overly academic at what I was doing, but something within me just said, look, this is not really what I want after all. Um, and at that point I was open to, to any form of, of, of input from, from outside. Um, and it was hotels that, that, that spoke the lo loudest. I suppose my career path wasn't really thought out initially. Um, once I started in catering, uh, my primary focus, as I say, at school was, was to become a biochemist. Um, it was only by chance that, that I was down visiting friends and, and a position became available in a hotel that I took the opportunity and thought, well, you know, let's try it. Um, once I was in the hotel and catering industry, it, it, it's one of those industries that just, just keep, kind of keeps hold of you. Either, either you enjoy it or you don't. And for me, I enjoyed it. And at that point, I decided that's what I wanted to do. The turning point in my career was, was when I, uh, I decided I was going to come out of the industry uh, and decided to go into retail. I was in retail for about five years, uh, working in a small convenience store with, with a friend of mine who was in business. Um, and when that dissipated, I came back into hotels uh, purely because that was, it just drew me, it drew me back. Um, and once I was in it, I realised that's what I wanted to do and I continued forward from there. And subsequently moved to, to numerous other hotels. Uh, I joined IHG six years ago as a, an academy manager a, in a smaller hotel um, and I've since moved around and this is my fourth hotel and within that I've just moved up through the ranks as I've gone along. Outside of work my family are, are take up the biggest chunk of my time, um, the wife and the kids, um, but aside from that I have a few friends and, and we go out and we bike at the weekends um, and we also have opportunity to do kiteboarding as one of the other things that I like to do. When I started in hotels, my first general manager um, was, was, a, was a big influence on me in the fact that he, at the age of 24, was a general manager of a hotel. Um, at that time, I, I think I was around about 20, and I thought, wow, I'm never going to get there at the age of 24. Um, but given time, I'd be able to do that because that's ultimately what I want to become, is a general manager of a, of a, of a reasonable size hotel.